Hello, everybody. Zach here. Welcome to what's hopefully the first of many moto vlogs. I've tried to record this essentially twice now, and uh, I've had unusable audio both times. Three times? Was there a third time? I'm not sure. Uh, so hopefully audio is passable, and I apologize. I'll try to nail down a. Uh, I'll try to nail down audio here as best as I possibly can. Same with video. Hopefully it's in a good spot. Um, hopefully this comes out decent. So thank you for a quick ride here on a road I really, really love. But anyways, let's talk about the bike. I mean, I've talked about the specs a couple times, but <laughs> it's repeating it to me. You're hearing it for the first time from me in this moto vlog. Um, but yeah, I've got, this is a 2017 Street Rod 750. Um, it is a Harley Davidson. Uh, a lot of people would nickname it a, either a Harley a Davidson or Honda Davidson. Um, but I love it all the same. Uh, it is definitely more of a standard bike. Uh, my first bike was a Nighthawk 750 and this felt, felt like a smooth transition for me. Um, it's not a traditional Harley in any sense of the way, uh, but I still love it nonetheless. Um, a lot of people kind of crap on the streets. Um, I get the, I get the, I get it. They are definitely entry bikes. Um, the street rod, though, has the handling and has the power that it should, in my opinion, and kind of how I wish, there's a lot of people that even say this, they should bump the street rod up, or I'm sorry, they should basically eliminate the streets, and it should just be the street rod. Uh, I kind of don't disagree. Um, I think this is a really good bike, and I feel like first impressions uh, from people are poor, uh, of any of the standard or more standard bikes that Harley's made over the years. Um, but this bike and many of those other bikes lay their roots back to, you know, the flat track stuff and just different bikes than people are used to for, for Harley. But like I said, I love it nonetheless. Um, I've had it for a year now almost, I think. Maybe exactly a year um, around this time. And, uh, I really do enjoy it. It has the power I, I want and I need. Um, it's not to say that I won't ever want to get a, a bigger bike. It's not to say that I don't like. I love the other Harleys, too. Um, I definitely love to have a touring bike in the uh, garage in the future. Um, but this kind of suits me. It kind of suits the roads that I currently have. It kind of suits my commute. It's kind of perfect for what I need it for. Um, and that's what the bike you should buy. Don't buy into numbers and don't buy into price or even brands. If it's not what you want and it's not what you need, that's the other thing too. Uh, buy within your buying abilities, I would say. Um, not that I'm always a financially smart person by any means, but you know, don't stretch yourself too thin over something that, unless you live in a nice climate all the time, over something that's more of a toy uh, it can be, you know, used for commuting, and it can get better gas mileage than cars, but bikes are not inherently cheaper uh, overall. Uh, tires are expensive. You have to do maintenance more frequently, that kind of thing. Yes, they're ridden a little less than the cars, depending on who you are, so sometimes you save it, but a lot of times you do not. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to take you on this little road that I absolutely love. So this might be a little bit, actually, as the first motovlog, this might be a little bit longer. Hmm. But we'll have to see. It was just too nice of a day not to go out. Um, and I know what's, what's been going on. There's some people that are even not riding, and I, I get that, and I respect that, and I definitely didn't ride for most of what's been going on. Um, I just need to, this is too beautiful of a day out here in central PA uh, that I just had to go out and I had to go back on this road. And uh, I hope you share 
you're able to share some of that experience with me because this road is just an absolutely beautiful road. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to put it. I've taken it, taken people, I, I think I've definitely done videos where I had even the Crown Vic back there and with the Miata. Just a all around great driving as well as uh, riding road. I'm gonna stop here. I might actually get gas before we go back there. But yeah, I think, what, is May Motorcycle Awareness Month too? I think, I think it might be. Um, could be wrong. But I think in some states, at least it is, so it'll apply to somebody. Um, and I do agree in sharing that as, as a person that rides a motor, oh, this person's not turning. Dang it. The weight. Should have went back there. Um, the person that rides a motorcycle, uh, be aware of uh, motorcycles. <laughs> that should be a pretty obvious statement, right? But understand that the visibility um, that I ha I mean, and that goes, goes the opposite way for a motorcyclist. Other motorcyclists should watch for other motorcyclists, and they should watch for cars, and they should keep their head on a swivel as if they are going to be hit by any one of these two plus ton vehicles at any time so i'm not saying that they should not be cautious themselves they really should and they should probably be a little safer than what i've seen some even motorcyclists ride but man do you have to um drive ride defensively um and then same with people just watch for motorcyclists and uh understand that um i mean that's why i like how loud my bike is i don't think it's insanely loud it's it's definitely loud but um and i don't I don't want to say like the, the classic thing of loud pipes save lives, but to a certain extent, I think they do. I think they have the potential to overpower people listening to their music as loud as they do. I'm, I'm a person that does that in the car, but also same with um, people that um, have like headphones in and everything um, when it is really unsafe to do so. So you just got to watch out and be safe out there. That's my kind of little PSA. Um, I don't want to lose my life and I don't want uh, other motorcyclists still lose their lives. Um, same with, I think you should wear a helmet. That's just my opinion on that matter. That being said, you're free to do, do what you want in states like Pennsylvania, where the helmet law was rescinded at one point. But, you know, live your life, but uh, consider the implications of uh, and the consequences of living in certain ways, I would say. So, after this long, long light... <laughs> Um, we're going to go down here and get gas in the sheets. Don't want to start any, you know, talk about that rivalry, but sheets versus Wawa. My vote is sheets, honestly. Um, that's because there's more of them where I'm at, and I've had a better history with them, I guess you could say. The other reason I love the street rod is this. It just sounds so good it has a really uh it has a, a pretty linear power band in my opinion um i have a tune on it i have a vance and hein slip on competition series exhaust which i think sounds awesome it also has the vance and Hines tuner um in it so that i can get out some get some of the d-cell pop out of there if i wanted to i actually tuned some of it out but i left most of it in um i know there's varying things about how d-cell pop works and how it's bad for Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm fine with uh, having to pay the price if I end up having to repair whatever uh, at one point because I think it's, I don't know. I like the way it sounds. It sounds good. Um, we've got Susquehanna Valley Harley Davidson. Bought my bike there. Get my bike serviced there. Can't recommend them enough. Uh, if you are in this area, they are great. Great people, great staff. Uh, just got new tires put on for this season. Um, great group of great group of guys. Recommend them. I'll put a link in the description below if you're in the Central PA area. Got to check them out. Uh, great guys. Um, yeah, but we're going to Sheets here. Gas is two nineteen. I got to get that premium in the street rod because that engine um, and this thing revs out to. 9,000, well, near 9,000? Or is it over 9,000 with the, uh, it's over 9,000 with the tune. I forget. It's stupid, though. I will say that. <laughs> it is stupid. Definitely for, again, what people expect, which is they do not expect, oh, a little bit of wetness there. 
it rained last night. Following this group of cars in here. All right, get back out here after getting some gas. I don't know what that guy was doing. Oh, he pulled over into that lane. Cool. Pull through here. Ah, oh, yes. Oh man, it's so nice out today. Too nice. So yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoy this kind of content. If you do, please like the video. Please do me a favor and subscribe. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my extra channel, uh, some different stuff is going to go up there. Maybe a more unedited version of this, potentially, uh, depending on how much stuff I feel on cutting uh, and how I want to kind of edit the main video. So I don't know what you're doing. Um... So yeah, like I said, Extra Channel is up. Clips are there. Um, what else is there? Uh, clips. <laughs> At this point, essentially it's clips, and I think there's a vlog up there. Well, uh, uh, talking about my weight loss journey thus far, which I'm not going to bore you with in this video. Um, doing well still, though. I will say that. And, uh, okay, we're going to get in the left lane because I don't like this Jeep just freaking flying up on me. That's what you gotta watch out for. People just flying up on you. So, we're going through the town of Linglestown here. Uh, village of Linglestown, to be a little bit more correct. It doesn't have a post office. We drove by that post office earlier. Um, technically, to be a town, you need to have a post office. Uh, at least that's my understanding. Yeah, we're gonna come down here through the square, go through the roundabout. I feel like it always throws people up. I just use my turn signal for no reason there. I actually prefer the roundabout. There used to be a cool nice yield. There used to be a uh, just I think stop sign there. Oh, it was awful. Awful intersection to come to. You basically got stuck there all the time. Not fun. Not fun at all. Turn here. And head back up this road. This road is a fun road for multiple reasons. Definitely the way I'm kind of going. Um, I'm going up a way that you gotta got to have some speed to go up and not feel like, you know, stuff's fogging down on you. So that's that in and of itself is kind of fun. Um, the other thing, too, is it goes up towards Fort Indian Town Gap. That's fun in its own right. Um, I think Fort Indian Town Gap is going to be more closed down at some point. Um, I don't know if that's happening in the next couple of years. Uh, currently, it's kind of open. I mean, you can't go right into the just the quarters or anything. You can't go into a bunch of different areas, of course. But right now, you can kind of drive through it. And they've got some um, military equipment out on display uh, and everything. It's a... Uh, fun to go. We're not probably going to go into Fort Indian Town Gap today. We're probably just going to ride up to it. This is the other thing, too. You know, I am the type of person that I don't know. I would I would prefer these roads. I mean, I don't, like I said, don't get me wrong. I still want to get a cruiser. But I would prefer these roads any day of the week. Back roads where I'm able to just like worry a little bit less about other people. And what I mean by that is, other than getting stuck behind people, having to worry a little less about people hitting me from every angle. Now you got to worry about animals, uh, and you got to worry about people coming out of driveways, um, and even people that are going as fast as you potentially. So I'm not saying that it's with, not without risk. And that, like I said, anytime you're on a motorcycle, there's a certain amount of inherent risk, and you kind of know that. You got to know that going into it. And I'm not here to bore you guys about. <laughs> how unsafe a motorcycle is because you're watching a motorfly, you obviously understand to a certain extent the risk of uh, motorcycling. Um, definitely if you ride one or if you have any interest in riding one, kind of something that gets hopefully instilled in your head early on that there is going to be inherent risk and you just need to be safe and careful and ride 
uh, with gear and ride with a helmet on and stuff. So I'm going to stop being a dad for a little bit, even though I'm not one in real life. But I'm going to stop acting like a dad here and uh, just enjoy these roads. Like I said, this is where this is the kind of stuff that's super fun to me and super fun on a bike like this that has power all throughout, basically, and has such a high uh, rev limiter. Like, like that's this right here. The fact that I'm sitting about in the middle of it and going up a road like this. Oh, and then I'm just able to crank on it, and it doesn't let up. Now, is it a buzzy bike? Yeah, it is. I definitely think that's the Harley in it. <laughs> oh, some wet spots there. But I still love it nonetheless. I'm gonna watch for wet spots regardless up here because there's obviously some some wet stuff still. The other thing, you always gotta be scanning. Always scan. But also don't get fixated because you will go where you're looking. I feel like I really should teach an MSF course. <laughs> um, but with that being said, uh, I think the MSF actually might be I don't want to say permanently canceled, but it might potentially be permanently canceled in Pennsylvania. It would be very unfortunate because the MSF was a great resource for me, um, getting my license and learning the basics. Um, you know, I watched a lot of videos and read up a bunch as much as I could before riding a motorcycle for the first time, but man, the MSF. Our instructor was great. The chorus was great. Uh, I'm really hopeful that it comes back. And this is what happens. You get stuck behind people. But it's what it is. So we're just going to coast down here and take in the sights. This road used to be absolutely terrible. Some wet spots. This, this road used to be, well, it's, it's it was long overdue, right? And then it got tore up, I think right before winter. And then it was just all types of cindery, I mean, worse than cindery mess. It was like, you know, when they ground it down, oh, it is awful. I mean, maybe there's a plus to that in when they did it uh, through the winter, like in terms of traction. But man, it was just absolutely terrible. Um, you did not want to take a bike through it, basically, regardless of what type of bike you ride. That stuff is not fun. Cinders are not fun. Roads in Pennsylvania, let's be honest, not the most fun. The, the, they're beautiful, and they are fun roads to ride. Uh, I will say that because they're curved in, you know, they're weaved through a mountain or through a valley, as, as you're going to see. But watching for potholes, watching for disintegrating roads is no fun, but that's partly to do with the snow we get, and then in certain roads, the amount of trucks we get through, and the amount of regular traffic we get through. Um, also, I'm going to try to, not in this video, I'm, I'm, I really want to focus on isolating my voice in this video and making sure I can get something passable for my voice. So, not in this video, but in future videos, I would love to have more of a mix of the sound here because I know you're going to get more of my voice. I've tuned this in as much as I could to get my voice kind of as isolated as possible. Almost a little bit, a little bit cell phone-y, um, but I'm, I guess I, I don't want to say I'm more okay with that, but I am. I'm more okay with that than you guys being, oh man, the first two times I tried to record this. Uh, the first one specifically, unusable. All, it was all bike and wind noise. This is better. Uh, I can I can tell already by the by the test recording I did, uh, but like I said, a little bit cell phoney. Uh, like I said, I'm more okay with that. I hope you're more okay with that. Uh, look at this view. Um, considering, uh, like I said, considering that you're able to hear me, and hopefully the quality is not complete garbage. We shall see. <laughs> well, let me got, let me know um, if you have a bike, a motorcycle. Um, or if you're interested in getting one, or where you're at in your journey, if you have multiple bikes, I'd be, I would love to talk to you guys about what you got. Oh man, this is the section I wanted to go down that would have been great without, okay, well the Tesla's pulling off, I wasn't concerned about him though, I'm concerned about the Saturn up here. I really want to open her up, but... pretty quickly catch up to the Saturn and 
yeah, that's no fun, being stuck behind somebody. Oh, and the visibility of it, too. Again, you got to think about that. Man, I really feel like this is becoming a motorcycle safety video. Um, let me guys know in the comments if you want to see motorcycle safety videos from me. Um, I bet you a lot of people with motorcycle safety would recommend not motovlogging and not taking any of your attention off the road. Uh, but I feel like this is kind of natural for me, uh, as dumb as it sounds. I feel like talking second nature, uh, as you probably know from my other videos where I play games and yeah, oh, calm on. It's like 45 up here, I'm pretty sure. It's just 40. Yeah, I kind of remember the speed limits a little differently from what they actually are through these areas, don't I? We are doing 40, but I just don't like being blocked, and I don't like my vision being impeded from what's coming up, and then other people's visions impeded of me. So definitely a I'm going to pass them up here like I said I would love to get better audio for you guys with the bike and everything I really do want you guys to hear it um, I've got plans for that here uh, plans for making that happen. Oh, man, I just love these winding roads. Definitely seen other guys shoot. I'm going to have to find them. And if I find them, I'll link them too. There was one I found of just a guy in a, you know, big dresser Harley just riding down this road. It sounded awesome. He, he wasn't talking at all. Sounded awesome, looked awesome. Um, this is the kind of stuff that I feel like some people need in isolation is to be able to see this kind of thing, to be able to experience it as, as much as they can. Oh, I also apologize for my, my bike is so dirty right now. Um, that is what it is. It's black, which again is what it is. I want the raft is something, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I would wrap it. I, I would honestly consider matte black, which is probably even more difficult to keep clean, but I love the look of matte black, uh, and even matte white, I think matte white would be really cool. Oh man, but uh, I have I have said this twice now too, recorded this twice now too, but it's still genuine. I appreciate you guys coming back to my content, coming to my new content specifically been great to see your guys response to my videos being back it's been great to be back it's been great to create content once again um you know i'm excited for the, what the future has to hold ipd has been an unbelievable uh, it's been a blast uh, i haven't cried laughing like that in a while uh, while recording and then also while editing it's been it's been great been absolutely incredible um that being said too i've had a blast in snow runner as well uh not enough time in the week to record even more of that too uh you know i'm trying to balance my full-time job still so that's why content may fluctuate at points um there may be weeks where you see more there may be weeks where you know more comes out uh, you know, I'm aiming for Monday, Wednesday, Friday at minimum here. Uh, and that's not even like I'm not formally putting that into a schedule. That's kind of what I'm wanting to hit. Um, and then, you know, us shooting 5PD and we get one out for the weekend, that kind of thing. I really got to scratch my nose. Oh, that's for the wind noise if there's some wind noise there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, other than, you know, and I think that's I think that's safe, too, for my overall, just my mental health, but also what my capacity is during the week. And, and then I have stuff like this, where if I'm able to shoot a motor vlog for you guys every once in a while, um, once a week or so, that would be awesome to me. But I don't. I also don't want to do stuff just for the sake of doing it. I want to do stuff because I believe that it actually is decent and it's, and it's fun and, you know, there's some there's some value to you guys. Oh, that Crown Vic over there. Yeah. Old Crown Vic. Um, yeah, there's more bikes out. I'm surprised I'm not seeing a lot of bikes come through the other way right now to be honest definitely on a beautiful day like this uh last time i rode through here and recorded yeah i definitely had some bikers come through 
recently, uh, like I said, all unusable footage, all unusable audio, fun stuff, right? I've upgraded portions of my rig, too. Got more RAM. You don't have a turn signal on, but you're definitely turning. Cool. Um, like I said, I upgraded portions of my rig. I got a 2070 uh, Super, I think, my gaming ring now, um, which has made such an insane difference in, in performance for uh, almost every game I play. <laughs> Why wouldn't it, right? Um, and then I got more RAM. I had to replace an SSD as well. Um, I'm pretty sure one of the SSDs that I originally put in the system, I say originally, but the system has multiple parts that have kind of transitioned over time. But one of the uh, SSDs that I've had for a long time has kind of just uh, become almost unusable. Like, it's still usable, I feel like, to read stuff off of, but man, writing stuff to it, it, it does not have a good time. Uh, I think that's just because of what YouTuber, or YouTubers or people that create media will know this. Um, you will go through you know, an SSD. SSDs are great for speed and file transfer and everything, but man, you have to be concerned about the longevity of uh, of them. Definitely if you're doing something that has a lot of read-write and a lot of seeks and all that stuff. Uh, so nice and cool back here. Roads are definitely a little damp still, but we'll be fine. We're not doing anything stupid. But yeah, again, thank you. Thank you to everybody that has stayed with me too. Uh, I know, I think that's the biggest surprise to me to see how many have viewed and see how many have commented on my new stuff, considering how long ago it was that I was creating content regularly. Um, that's great. Feels great to me. And I really do, sincerely from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you guys. Uh, it's been a journey and I'm glad to be back and try not to harp on it too much. I feel like I am, but, uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. I almost feel like I should drop back from this mod a little bit, like I said, just for visibility's sake. And you want to <laughs> go back into safety mode, and you want to be sure that you're able to make smart decisions. So if this person, the deer cut across and hit him, I'd be able to safely stop, safely get out of the way. Sometimes the answer is not stopping either, as much as that sounds counterintuitive. Uh, you know, you're supposed to look for multiple exits at any given moment. So if that means that this guy hits a deer or he swerves off, I'm able to go around him safely or I'm able to stop or I'm able to exit. Um, you just got to be, you got to be smart. Yeah, tell me guys what you want to see. Oh, there's some cut grass. Um, that is like ice, by the way. Uh, that's going to my safety thing again, but it is like ice. When it's out on the road, it's, like, it's as if it's ice. So be aware of that if you're gonna get into motorcycling, or even if you already are and you don't you haven't encountered it yet, or you haven't seen the videos or what have you. Yeah, it's like ice. Um, yeah, but guys, let me know what you wanna see in terms of motor vlogs, in terms of vlogs, in terms of all that kind of stuff. Love to get your guys' input. You've been extremely helping so far. I'm gonna do more chase feeds on the channel too. You guys absolutely loved the uh, return to chase me, and I had a fun time doing it. Um, forewarning, I already recorded another one. It has to do with being on a motorcycle. It did not go well, so forewarning, <laughs> it's it's rough. Uh, but I think you guys will enjoy it still. Got the golf course up here. And I gotta watch riding in that side and riding with that, watching that grass. It's, you know, definitely obviously safely off, but you don't know if something came onto this side of the road or something dashed out and I had to go into it. That's where you've gotta be, you know, you gotta be safe. You gotta watch. too pretty out here today. Yep, there's some more cut grass there. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else I've got to say to you guys. It's It's been great, and it's been my honor to be back, too. Oh, some, 
some slight, not anything crazy, but some grass blowing on the street there. Um, yeah, it's been an honor to be back though in, in the crate again, and it's been it's legitimately been so much fun. Uh, oh, yep, not a crazy amount, but there's definitely some grass there. Oh, we definitely got a tractor here. Yep, they're mowing the grass. Just gonna stay very safely over here. Watch that we don't go into grass here, too. There's a little bit more landscape up here, but for the most part, you, you came on the road that I really wanted to show you guys. Um, I would definitely love to go back through some of these back roads and cut through here uh, in a future video, in a future moto vlog. But like I said, if you enjoyed this, please leave me a like. It really helps me out. Um, dislike it if you didn't like it. Oh, that's blinding. Um, <laughs> and uh, like I said, please, please, please subscribe to the second channel. And uh, check out the clips on there if you're more of a person that binges clips and don't want to watch full episodes of what I create. Or maybe you want to see some behind-the-scenes stuff or see some unedited stuff. Oh, we got a fellow biker up here. Finally, I get to see one. There he is. Um, so, yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed this little motor vlog, guys. And until the next one, I'll see you later. Stay safe out there. And, uh, ah.